I wasn't given any warning. I wasn't told of the side effects of the RU486 pill. All I was told was that I'd be given three little miracle pills which would eliminate the problem that was facing us. To get these three tablets, things went very fast. I was sent to see a psychologist. She asked me two or three questions just to find out if I was all right. I went back to the clinic and was ushered into an office. There were three small tablets on the table with a glass of water and the nurse was filling forms. I was still thinking about what I was going to do and if that was really what I wanted. As I was taking my time, the nurse got up and said to me, well, what are you doing? What are you waiting for to take the tablets? Since I was a bit upset and feeling fragile, I swallowed the tablets. And then I left. That's when I started feeling bad. What I mean is, on the way home, I was telling myself that it wasn't possible that the problem could go away so quickly. So I went to see my boyfriend. I gave him back his car and, in fact, I aborted the fetus in his house. I had been given a little flask and I had been told to collect the fetus in it so they could check that it was indeed the fetus. I felt something slipping out. I was watching TV at the time. I rushed to the toilet. I collected the fetus. I saw two black dots, which must have been the future eyes, and on the following Monday I went to the clinic. I handed the flask to the nurse, saying, I don't know if that's the fetus. She laughed in my face and said, it's not a fetus, it's just a clump of cells. She said, do you want me to throw it in the bin? In the heat of the moment, things are going fast. I said yes. I didn't really know where I was up to. I was sent to see a gynecologist. I had to have some tests. In fact, the nightmare was just beginning. Although there is no physical trauma since no surgical instruments are inserted in the woman's body. Only three tablets to swallow. All the same, there's a whole psychological upheaval. I mean, every evening after that, when my boyfriend was taking me home, I was nearly screaming, saying, please stay with me, we've got to talk. I think we've done wrong. It was the fruit of our love. I think we really messed up. But he just kept saying, I don't want to hear about it anymore, don't talk to me about it any longer. Every evening as he was taking me home, I knew I was going to have a night of dread. And this went on for a year, during which every time I lay on the bed, the ceiling turned into a screen for my sleepless nights. I kept playing over in my head the scene where instead of swallowing the tablets, I would get up and throw them back in the face of the nurse saying, no, I'm keeping it. It became traumatic. I kept telling myself, I failed in my duty, it all happened too quickly, it's no good. And I'd cry and cry and cry, every time I started talking about it I'd cry. This went on for a year, until the night when I picked up a knife and I decided to end it all. It must have been about 3 o'clock in the morning, and just as I had the blade near my heart, the phone rang. It was a friend, one who's like a brother to me and I love him very much. He asked, Emily, are you okay? And I said no and burst into tears. He came round straight away, and then I said to myself, that's it, I've got to do something.